Hello, Elvira. Elvira, qué lindo verla en su casa. Hello, hello. Hello, César. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Okay. Hey, welcome, welcome. Hello, Ever. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to your class. Hello, hello. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Well, I'm going to give some minutes for all the rest to connect because I have very important announcements to share. And for sure, remember that tomorrow we have a class, right? I'm very sorry that I move your days a little bit. Okay. So welcome. Remember to have your cameras on during the complete class. It is very necessary so we can actually see you and we can participate during the class. So that is very important to have it. Today, I sent you a little exercise for you to practice the if clauses. That is the first type of conditionals. That is the baby of the conditionals, the easy ones, okay? Todos le tienen miedo a las condicionales, pero en realidad de entender cada tipo y no ponerles el estigma que son horribles. Conditionals are easy. You just have to analyze each of the cases. The exercise that I sent you today was easy, right? It was a... A very simple exercise to follow. And uh, that's a very good way to practice, right? It is a very good way to start getting to know the different uh, the different types of conditionals. In this case, we were talking that in this type of conditionals, we use the future, right? If you do something now, something is going to affect the future. And that is like kind of the easiest part of this one, of this topic, right? Of the conditional forms. We're going to go a little bit in deep on that one for you to see that they are not really complicated. Well, welcome everybody. I have many of my students now. Important things. Remember that we have class tomorrow, right? Les di vacación el lunes ahí porque andaba poco mal. Pero, eh, thank you, Carla Javier. Pero mañana tenemos clase, recuerden. Mañana vamos a hacer algo muy importante que eh, necesito que todos, cuando se conecten, tengan su plataforma abierta. La hayan terminado o no, para ir revisando todo y que toda la plataforma quede completa el día de mañana. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice, teacher, a mí todavía me faltan los exámenes finales o algo, mañana vamos a hacer todo el área de la unidad de la sección 4, 5 y exámenes finales, ¿ok? ¿Para qué? Para que mañana quede lista la plataforma y su última semana sea solamente de evaluaciones y práctica, ¿ok? Así que mañana, cuando se conecten, y eso se los quería pedir y por eso me detuve este ratito a hacer el switch de Spanish, pero también hablo español. <risa> Para que mañana cuando ustedes se conecten, traigan ya la plataforma abierta y si usted ya terminó sus ejercicios, perfecto. Si usted ya terminó toda la plataforma, excelente. Solo nos vamos a corroborar que todo esté completado para que su plataforma esté al 100% toda. ¿Okay? Así como lo hicimos el módulo pasado, que revisamos toda, que la plataforma quedara completamente cerrada, lo mismo vamos a hacer ahora. El último día para terminar la plataforma es el lunes, pero yo no quiero que ustedes lo dejen para el lunes. ¿Okay? Prefiero que lo dejemos listo mañana que quede cerrado todo y que el lunes cuando ellos entren a revisar, usted ya tenga todo listo, ¿ok? Si mejor que digan, todo el grupo de Teacher Nati está listo, a que digan, hey, el grupo de Teacher Nati no ha trabajado, qué pena, no, right? 
I, I like to be on the top ones. So <laughs> we're going to do yeah, that awesome. tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, awesome group, right? <laughs> sí, yo sé. Tengo ahí el, el orgullito. Ahí que me gusta I, I, I agree, teacher. I, I agree because I was thinking to finish the... Um, to finish my platform um, in the weekend. No, so the weekend is to rest, okay? El fin de semana es para descansar, para comer pupusas el sábado, tamales el domingo, ir a misa. Okay, no para estar haciendo la plataforma, no, no, no. We are going to finish that tomorrow, okay? Mañana se van a ir a acostar bien chivo porque ya la van a ver terminar, okay? No pesadillas, no nada. So we are going to finish that. Eh, si alguno de ustedes ya la terminó, le va a servir para corroborar y enviar eh, que todo está listo, ¿ok? Así que mañana, tan pronto se conecten, ya traigan la, eh, tengan la abierta para ir trabajando eh, simultáneo. Vamos a ir trabajando en simultáneo, yo lo voy a ir haciendo, usted lo va a ir haciendo también y todo vamos a terminar y lo vamos a completar juntos, ¿ok? So, that's what we are going to do tomorrow. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a traer cuando vengamos a clase mañana? Plataforma abierta. Plataforma abierta, ok. Ya van a estar, ay, teacher, ahorita me conecto, busco con la contraseña. No, nothing, ok. Ya lista, ok. Ya lista, si la pueden avanzar en el día para que solo revisemos, eso sería perfecto, ok. Ok. So that would be great. So, welcome to your class. Remember that uh, we are working on the if clauses, and today I send you one exercise. I sent you a, a little practice for the topic. Thank you. Hey, Joanna, very nice. You printed it. That's so good. If you print the exercise, you can complete it. And that is going to be very, very helpful, right? It's going to be very helpful and you will have it and you will use it. Good, very good. So let me open my presentation so we can go over the topic. If I don't do it, I won't advance in the classes and the classes will be stopped and the students are not going to learn. So if clauses are used for you to express what is going to happen if something else happens, okay? Si pasa esto, va a pasar lo otro, right? So that's the use of the conditionals. It is a pretty uh, useful thing, you will see. Okay, here we are. And I am going to share with you. And chin, 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 chin. Here we go, here we go. This is what we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about time contrast, right? And today we are going to start talking about conditionals, okay? The first type of conditional is made up by different models, models for consequence. And the future models that you can use are will, may, or might. Right, the most common that you use is will. What is the negative form of will? Won't. Want. Want, right? That is the negative form of Won't. will. And in this case, you say, if I quit smoking, si dejo de fumar, I might gain weight. Puedo subir de peso, you say. If I gain weight, I won't be able to fit in my clothes. If I don't fit in my clothes, I will have to buy new ones. And if I get a part-time job, you may be able to save some money, right? What will happen? Imagine, let's just make a little example. And for this one, I am going to take the screen because I need to write. What happens if, if I miss the class? What is it going to happen? Si pierdo la clase, ¿qué pasa? I want to learn tomorrow. I want to learn English. 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 Want to learn English. What happens if I don't learn English? I won't pass the level. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I don't learn English, I won't pass the module. Module. And what happens if you don't pass the module? I'm going, 
Ajá. I won't repeat. I, I will. Intermediate too. I will have to repeat. I will, I will, to the, the I will repeat. I will lose the scholarship, right? I, okay, if I don't pass the module, I will have to repeat it. Then, if I have to repeat the model, what will happen? Si te toca repetirlo, what will happen? I, I want a uh, lost time. I, okay, if I have to repeat, I will. I will, lose time. I will be angry with me. I will be angry with myself. I will be angry with myself. Okay. Ah, that's a hard thing. I will be angry with myself. And what happens if you get angry with yourself? I will uh, eat a lot. <laughs> okay. If I get angry with myself, with myself, I will eat a lot. What happens if you eat a lot, people? I I going I, to gain weight. Um, if I eat a lot, I will get weight. I will. I will, I will get. Gain. I will what? gain weight. Weight. What happens if you get if you gain weight, people? I uh -huh. will. If I gain weight, I will I be. Will not, I won't fit. I will be sick. I will be sick. Okay. I will I be will sick. Be. My goodness. And what happens if you are sick? We if die. You, okay. If I get sick, I will die. Okay. Right. What is the learning of the day? ¿Qué aprendimos ahora? Don't miss the class. Don't miss the class. Okay. <laughs> Because if you miss the class. <laughs> Because you will die. You will die. <laughs> you will die if you miss the class. So you see the importance. You see the importance, people, of learning English. Okay. Every, every single exercise that I have done in my life, finish dying. Okay. So that's the importance of not missing the class. Okay. Okay, <laughs> what is the learning of that? Be in class all the time. Yeah, uh, the last time that I did this exercise was like, if I don't have a pencil, that was my first sentence. If I don't have a pencil, I won't be able to, to write the class. If I don't write the class, I won't learn. And then they started doing everything. And at the end we died, right? Exactly like this. And for sure, what is going to happen if you die, people? If I die? I will go to heaven. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I will to say hell. <laughs> no. Let's try to. I will. If I die, in this case, you say, Teacher Nati will miss me. Okay, that's something that you have to be for sure. You say, teacher Nati will miss me. So the learning, if you don't want me to be depressed, attend classes. <laughs> so that is the use, you see, that is the conditional. That's the use of the conditionals. Many people say like, uy, no, los condicionales en inglés, que no hay que, que no hay cuantos son del diablo, que, que, no. It's easy. You just have to be creative. You just have to write. You just have to create your own exercises. This was the example that I sent you. Let me just share it with you. Here. This was the example that I sent you in the chat, right? If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. He won't play outside. And this one, you can also use it on the contrary. He will bring his umbrella if it rains. He won't play it outside if it rains. So you have the two forms. The most common one is to use the if clause at the beginning of the sentence, okay? It is not really common to use it at the end, but it's possible. If we don't arrive on time, 
Her teacher will be angry. Another teacher, it's not me. I will watch TV if I have the time. If he gets up at five o'clock, what option do you have there? ¿Qué escribieron ahí? If he gets she up will, at five o'clock, he will finish his homework early. He will finish I will have, his I, I will have time to make exercise before going to exercise. <laughs> I will have time to do exercise, right? If I if he gets up at five o'clock, he will be very hungry at six. We will be hungry. What is if the compliment? We don't, if we don't, we if don't, we don't eat, we don't eat, we don't eat yeah, on eating. time, eat milk. If we don't eat on time, we will be hungry. If the phone rings, I will answer the phone call. I will answer, right? Nah, don't don't be don't be a liar. If the phone rings, you will be watching the phone until the call is over. You get the phone and you are like, well, again. <laughs> and then you write on WhatsApp what happened. <laughs> I know you people. I know you. Yeah, lo ven hasta que se corta la llamada y después on WhatsApp. ¿Qué querías? <laughs> I will laugh. <laughs> If I I enjoy a good time. If I am enjoying a good time, very good. If our exam is not tomorrow, I will study will for it anyway. I will have more time to study, right? We'll study for it on the weekend. They won't buy a new car. If he don't have the, the money, money to pay. If okay. they don't have a good credit. If they don't have good credit, if they don't have the money to pay. If you hit me. I will forgive you. I will, you. <laughs> I will respond. You. I will respond with the other check. <laughs> I will respond with the other cheek. cheek. I will tell my brother. I will tell oh my goodness. Yeah, my little brother. I can tell you that because my brother is two meters tall. <laughs> Mi hermano mide dos metros. So mm -hmm. if you hit me, I will tell my brother. <laughs> <That's precious. laughs> I will do it. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Come on. <laughs> if, I will give you ten dollars. If you lend me a thousand dollars. If you complete the platform. If you complete the platform. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If he doesn't take the bus, he won't arrive. He will take an Uber. He will take he will an take, Uber. He will take the subway. He will take the subway, right? In another country here. Because here we can go to subway, but we cannot take the subway. If he doesn't take the bus, he can call an Uber, right? Or he's going to arrive late. He will arrive late. The class will break. If you fall down. Okay, if it falls down, right? If it falls down, like myself. If I don't watch that movie. I will, I will ask for sad. how was it. I will ask my friends about it, right? I will ask how was it. What about the next one? My boss will get angry. If the mirror. If I don't finish. If I don't finish the meeting, I don't, is it finished before 2 p.m.? I don't arrive on time to my job. If I don't arrive on time, if the meeting is before 2 p.m., right? If the if weather I is... Take a snap. If I take a nap, right? It's just 9 in the morning, right? In front of the computer, mm -hmm. right? If the weather is nice tomorrow... We will, will go to the beach getting relaxed. I will go to the beach, I will get relaxed, I will go out to eat, right? Those are the things that you can do if the weather is nice. Okay, good, very good job, my dear class. You see, if classes are not really difficult, right? We, has, we just have to be very careful on the way we use the models after each of them, right? Remember, you have the subject, the model, and the complement, right? And if you use will, the verb is going to be in the normal form, right? So you don't have to make any change on this one, okay? Here we have a couple of examples. And it says, if you eat less sugar, what can you happen? Might, 
feel healthier. You might feel healthier. You won't be able to stay awake in class. <laughs> you won't be able to stay awake in class. If you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier, right? If you walk to work every day, you may feel more relaxed. You may feel more relaxed. Okay. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. Awake in class. If you don't you get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. If you own a pet, you'll have more money to spend on yourself. If you own a pet, si tienen una mascota. You will stay in shape. You will stay in shape because you have to go and walk, Without right? Going to gym. Without joining a gym, right? Tienen que andar limpiando, tienen que andar corriendo, tienen que andar caminando. So you will stay in shape without going to the gym. If you don't get married, you will have more money. You will have more money to spend on yourself. That's kind of okay. It's kind of self-centered, but it's okay. If you don't get married, you will have more money to spend on yourself. Give me one example using an if clause and a result. You tell me, teacher, if you, and you give me the result. One example, invent one example. Invent one. Any type of sentence, right? Teacher, if you give me a 10, you will be very happy. I want. If I stay at home the whole day, I will be bored. If I stay at home the whole day, I will be bored. Very good job, right? Another example. If you do exercise. If you do exercise, you will. Yeah. You will. Be very tired. <laughs> <laughs> if you do exercise. You don't might feel healthier. Okay. So you might, might you might feel you healthier. Might okay, healthy. you might feel healthier. Después te vas a sentir más saludable. Mm -hmm. If you do exercise, you might feel healthier. It's Not teacher. If you don't exercise, you don't might feel no, in that case you cannot say don't want. might. You can say you, you want. You want. En este you caso, want. para las negativas, es mejor ocupar want. Because no podemos decir you won't might. You can say you might not. You might not feel healthier. But it's and more common to say you want. Want. And will not is... Will not is the same. Okay. You can use it. Will not. But the most, I mean, the, the most appropriate is want. You will not, it's correct, because it is the meaning of that one, right? You will not, but the most appropriate form is one. You might not, okay? You might not, or you may not, okay? You can use those forms for the negatives. You, I let me write it here. You might not, or you may not. Okay, you say, for example, if you uh, eat a lot of sugar, you might not uh, lose weight. No vas a perder peso. If you don't eat less sugar, that's another sentence, right? So more examples. We can be correcting examples. If you it watch a lot of TikTok, uh -huh. you won't approve the semester. <laughs> if you watch a lot of TikToks, you won't pass the semester, right? 
you won't pass the semester because you are not going to study. Another example. If you don't drink water, you get sick from the kidneys. Exactly. If you don't drink water, you will be sick of your kidneys, right? Very good, very good recommendation, okay? Hora de hidratación. Quiero ver a todos tomando agua. Teacher, no, when I say if you if you don't drink water, you will be sick or of course you will be sick or you will illness. No, you will be sick. Here you say like if you don't drink water you will get sick or you can say you will get an illness in this case yes you will get an illness it's like te va a dar alguna enfermedad or you will get sick that is the most common one te vas a enfermar porque aquí es te vas a enfermar you will get sick but you will get an illness es te va a dar una enfermedad and it's not really probable, right? You will get sick, te va a enfermar. So please don't do that. You have to drink water. Okay, more examples. If I don't have money, I won't buy a modern cell phone. A modern cell phone, right? If I don't have money, I won't buy a modern cell phone. I have here, the same exercise, but you have the event and the consequences. Here you have some examples of consequences. Be able to buy expensive clothes, feel better about yourself, feel hungry a lot, feel jealous sometimes, feel more energetic, feel safer in your home, have to give up your favorite snack, get requests for loans from friends, have to learn a new language, have to take it out for walks, lose touch with old friends and gain weight. Those are consequences. And here we have the events. So I need you to classify the consequences with each event, right? You can match two or three consequences on each event. And you can do that on your phone, How on your phone, on your notebook. How are you going to do it? You are going to write two sentences for each one. So here, you will say, if I, if I, and I will make it bigger. Okay, let me make it bigger. If I, if I buy a large dog, and then you give me the consequences. What will be a consequence of having a big dog? Hagamos el primero juntos. If I buy a large dog, it will be difficult to control. Uh huh. Mm. To get control. Okay, that, that's a good one, right? You it, will have to take it out for walks. You have to Very take, good. You have to it will be it. difficult to control. Yes, the dog for sure will be difficult to control. It will be difficult to control. Let me make this a little bit smaller. And here we put the period, okay? It will be difficult to control. I will be safer in my home, teacher. <laughs> I will be safer in my home. If I buy a large dog, I will be, yeah, I will be safer in my home. Exactly like that, right? Here you have two examples. Another one. We have another one from the options here. I have to take it out for a walk. Very good. I will have, I will have to take it out for a walk. And there you have the options of this one, right? These are the three consequences of buying a large dog. If I buy a large dog, it will be difficult to control. I will be safer in my home, but I will have to take it out for walks. So pros and cons. 
What happens if you fall in love? I will broke inside. <laughs> si se enamora. What happens if I fall in love? Here you have the options. Aquí hay unas opciones. I will gain weight. <laughs> yes. Yes, that happens. That happens. Si es suyo. I will feel... I will feel jealous I will, sometimes. Sometimes. I will feel jealous sometimes. It's like, <laughs> what happens? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I will feel jealous sometimes. I will gain weight and... I will lose have fun. I will, I will lose the fun. <laughs> if I yeah. fall in love, and I if will have to learn a new language. Will, why? <laughs> the the language mind. of love. <laughs> I, I will, will lose my money. Password. Uh-huh. I will have to share my passwords. I will I will get Wayne. I will I, feel jealous. I will, I will lose my money. I will, I will lose happy. my money. I will be happy. Yes. I, I, will, be I will be happy. I will delete all the pictures of my <laughs> my face. <laughs> ah, Beijing. Uh -huh. No, si yo ni Facebook tengo. Ajá. Es que no me gustan las redes sociales. Ajá. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Ahí lo voy descubriendo. Esposa del mundo, miren. <laughs> If I fall in love, I, will, I won't get married. I said that. Yo dije eso también. Don't say that. Ush, I will never get married. Ush, I will never have children. Ush, I will never become a teacher. Yep. <laughs> And here I, that's what I said. Two children. <laughs> Three children. If I fall in love, I will have children. I will be distracted all the time. I will have this silly smile on my face, right? ¿Qué pasa cuando se enamoran? Ahí andan sonrientes todo el tiempo. Smiling on the phone. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what you are going to do. If I fall in love and you have to write the consequences. If I go on a diet, you have to write the consequences. If I inherit a lot of money, me dan una herencia. If I inherit a lot of money, If I move to a foreign country, si me voy a otro país, if I quit smoking, okay, write some consequences. I will give you some minutes for you to do that. Voy a dar unos minutitos para que las terminen. Remember to write the complete form. If I, I will, I won't, I might, I may. Work on this one for a moment, okay? If I fall in love, I won't finish my English course. No, 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 no. Mejor que estudie con usted. <laughs> Look at uh, Edgar. If I move to a foreign country, I will learn a different culture. I will learn a different culture. Very good. Examples. Everybody's going to give me one example. Let's see. Gabriela, give me one example. If I move to a foreign country, I will lose touch with all friends. I will lose touch with all friends. Very good. People remember the camera. It's an obligation for the class. Okay. Don't forget that. Su cámara tiene que estar activa toda la hora de clase, por favor. So please remember to keep it there. Uh, let's see. Jancy, what is your example? moment please if no i follow i will happy i will be i will be i will be happy. i will be happy okay very good if i fall in love i will be happy edson what is your example
Mr. Edson, Mr. Edson. If I fall in love, I will be, I will, I will get married. Okay, mm. if I fall in love, I will get married. Nice, very good. Miguel, what is your example? Um, I fall in love, I will have butterfly in my stomach. If I fall uh, in love, I will have all, butterflies. Uh -huh. All week. I will have butterflies in your stomach all week. Yeah. Very good. Ever Ernesto, go ahead. If I learn English very well, I will I will have better work opportunities. I will have better job opportunities. Very good. Nidia. I I if I go on a diet. Uh-huh. I will be look Taylor. I will look Taylor. Thinner, thinner. I will look thinner okay. or slender. Okay. Slender is in shape, right? I will look thinner. Isabel. Um, if I go on a diet, I will be more healthy. I will be more healthy. I will be healthier. 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 Okay. Healthier. Very good. Jose Daniel, your example. Is I find low, I will feel butterfly in my stomach. <laughs> if I fall in love, I will feel butterflies in my stomach. Very good. If you buy mango on the street, you will feel butterflies in your stomach. Don't buy mango on the street. <laughs> The butterflies will be different. Alejandra, go ahead. If I go on a diet, I want to eat delicious food. I will eat delicious food. Very good job, right? Very good job. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> okay, good, good, good. Thank you, Samuel. Uh, any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Go ahead. If I quit smoking, I will have more years of life. <laughs> if I quit smoking, right? If I quit smoking, I will have more years of life. Very good. Ruth, Elizabeth, what is your example? If I inherit a lot of money, I will buy a new car and a new house. Very good. If I inherit a lot of money, I will buy a new car, a new house, a new everything. Excellent. Let's see. Sandra Leticia. Um, if I go on a diet, I, diet. Will lose, I will lose weight. Very good. If I go on a diet, I will lose weight. People, what will you do? What will you do if you find money on the street? If I find money on the street, what will you do? Cash? Ever. Go ahead. It depends uh, how much money. If I find $1,000 on the street. Oh my God. Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ahí está un rollito botado. If I find $1,000 on the street, what will you do? I get the money into my pocket. <laughs> I will put it on my pocket, right? I will put it on my bank account. I will put it on my bank account. Very good. What will you do, Joanna, with one thousand dollars? I will be happy. I will be happy, Katherine. I will <laughs> buy. Uh, I will buy. I will buy a lot of things. I don't know. A lot of things, right? I will buy a lot of things. What would you do, people, if you travel to a new country? If you move to a new country. Inherit, teacher. What pronouns? I will live. I will miss my country. <laughs> I will miss my country. Inherit. Inherit is like that. Inherit. inherit. It means inherit. heredar. If I inherit a lot of money, right? Si heredaría, si heredara un montón de, de dinero, what will you do? Okay, that's the meaning of this. Very good. What will you do, people, if you find or if you see your favorite artist? Imagine that you are on the street, right? Ta, 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 ta. And then all of a sudden, 
Cha, Ricky Martin, in front of you. No. I will take a lot of photos. <laughs> I will take a lot of photos, <laughs> right? How, how do you say <laughs> sequestrar, teacher? <laughs> I will kidnap. <laughs> Imagine you in the center of San Salvador and then cha cha, mm -hmm. Brad Pitt. You should yeah. take it to a place with no witnesses. <laughs> Venga, le voy a mostrar esta calle. Venga, venga. <laughs> Miren, mi teléfono tiene luz. <laughs> hey, yo, follow me. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> you know English, so that's an advantage, right? That's an advantage that he can communicate with you. Let's see, Catherine, who is your top one favorite artist that you say like, ah, and you get crazy for that? Ah, uh, it's a boy band, a Korean boy band. <laughs> Which one? Um, BTS. Ah, imagine if you find the five BTS yeah. in the pizzeria. I will die. <laughs> I will die. Ingo lo quilta. Having pupusa. Yeah, that would be crazy. Imagine that. Eduardo, who is your top one favorite artist? Dua Lipa, you would say. Or Scarlett Johansson or singer? someone like that. It's a singer, mm, call it Match. It's from Spain. Oh, so if you find her in Centro Historico, what would you do? I don't know, maybe I, <laughs> I don't know. I will invite him to Pupusas. Okay, so you will invite this person to pupusas. That's good. It is curious that you say like, ay, yo haría eso, yo haría que, que no sé qué, que no sé But then when you have the person in front of you, what happens? Uh, you are uh, like, uh, 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 uh. you are in shock and you cannot do anything. <laughs> and it, it also, it, it is not just with famous people. Imagine if you find your crush on the street, it will be like, and you don't know what to do. If you see your crush on the street, you will say hello to him or her. That's what you will do if you see a famous person or a very important person in front of you. So those are consequences, right? Consequences. So here we have some examples of the sentences that we did before. If you buy a large dog, you will have to take it out for walks every day. What is the next one? If you take it out for walks every day, you might have an accident. And the next one? If you have an accident, you may have to go to the hospital. You will have to go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital, if you won't be able to take care of your dog. And the last one? If you aren't able to take care of your dog, you probably have to And if you sell your dog? What will happen? See, you haven't al perro? If you sell your dog? Or you will feel... I will, I will feel. Um, I will fall in the press. I will. <laughs> I will feel guilty. I will feel depressed. Okay, I will feel depressed. I but, will cry. But for example, uh, feel is sentir, but mm -hmm. tired. No, but in this case, with depressed, you say I will feel depressed. You say. Uh, okay. You can say I will fall on depression, but that is a very Spanish translation thing. Mm. So okay. for English, you use, I will feel depressed. If or I, I will feel depressed, uh -huh. if I feel depressed, I will go to the psychologist. I will go to the psychologist. And if I go to the psychologist, what will happen? If I, I go to the psychologist? Uh, I will be fine. Time, more okay. I will need more time and I will be fine. If I am fine, what is going to happen? I will buy a, another dog. I will buy another <laughs> dog. And then the circle is going to continue and continue and continue. I won't be. 
I would and want to uh, be to work. Dog. And then you say like, and then I will have to take it out for a walk and then you're going to have an accident and you're going to go to the hospital and you will get another dog. It's right? like uh, that movie, Efecto Mariposa. Exactly like that. It's a never ending thing. That's the word in English, right? It's a never ending. It's like infinitive thing. It's a never ending situation. It's like, it's the same thing. It's like, I will never talk to him again. Otra never ending situation. Nunca le voy a volver a hablar, you say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. A never ending situation. Are you in love, people? Let me see your faces. Are you in love? Uh huh. Be honest. Be honest. Yes. Yeah. I am happy. Uh -huh. your, your husband or your wife is going to watch this video tomorrow and they are going to see your reaction. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend is going to watch this class. Are you in love, people? I was thinking yeah. yes, but nah. <laughs> I realized not. I love, I love my self picture. That I is the first people. love. That is the first love, for sure. Ante todo el amor que puedan dar, el primero, el propio. Fantastic. I love that one. If you are in love of yourself, that's beautiful, okay? Every time in the morning when I wake up, I say, hello, beauty. And it's me on the mirror, right? Every morning, usted cuando se levante, dígale, hola, mi amor, ¿cómo amaneciste? On the mirror, right? When you are looking on the mirror, ahí en el espejo, every morning. Are you in love? Or the next question, do you have a crush? I think you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a crush? A crush is someone that you love, but you know that it's kind of impossible to have. <laughs> you just smile. Everybody just smile, you see? <laughs> you should see all the cameras that I can see. You are like, yes. <laughs> I, I won't ask you for names. Don't worry. No voy a pedir nombres, ni direcciones, ni fotos. So don't worry. I can see that everybody has one. Hmm. I have one. He is one of the bastard boys. Yeah, he's my crush. I just love him. My wife hates me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Ah, oh, you have a crush. Ay, qué bonito. Está a la calle. What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? That is the reading for the day. And it says, you think you're falling in love. You are really attracted to a certain person, but this happened before and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real this time? Here is what our readers say. If you are in love, what is the first thing that you do? You will find yourself. Uh -huh. so continue, Edgar, you continue. You will find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. It's like, I wanted to ask you something. So like, yeah, I, I just, I just, it, it's very common that they say, how, how do you say this in English? And I'm like, Google it. <laughs> so it's a very common thing, right? You might pretend there is a reason, but often there is no. Let's see, Cesar, what is the second indicator? You will find your you will find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend began. <laughs> You interrupted with my boyfriend and me away Mexican dinner last week. You are talking about this person all the time. Okay, the next one. I'm going to ask Jose Daniel, help me to read the next paragraph. To me, it's you might. To my swimming. Suddenly, suddenly. Oh, this be drastic. I came to you say to allow when a woman asked me to tell 
her lavaos. Football it now she is falling in love, say a T as for announcer. Announcer, okay. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid when a woman asks for example, me. For example, the, the, the uh -huh. horoscope. <laughs> the horoscope, right? <laughs> that you are not that you are not into that, but it's like really wow, I didn't know, right? Or things that you didn't like. For example, I remember when I was just starting my relationship with my husband, he loves American football. He loves American football. And I was like, explain me about it. I didn't like it, but I got interested. And I was like, ah, really? Ah, I'm quarterback? Ah, yeah, really? Oh, okay, fantastic. I <laughs> I just wanted to know. And suddenly, and suddenly teacher, uh, you was uh, celebrating the walls. Or yeah. The, the, the goals or the teams. I was, I was celebrating. Now I like it. So it's like when a woman you, asks you about. Crying. I was like, no, oh my God. Right. That she has been, she has fallen in love when she's asking about things that she didn't like before. Let's see. Let's continue here. And it goes right here. Okay, so you have fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you are still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship with will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not always call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You will find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself, but now you can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you as you are. Falling in love is great, but staying in love is even better. You share the list. I am going to call the list right now, okay? You see, you are in love of the list. What is the <laughs> difference between falling in love and staying in love? Classify them, please. Mientras paso la lista, ustedes van a clasificar cuáles son falling in love y cuáles son staying in love. There you go. Okay, let me just pause this one. You call the other person for no reason that is falling in love or staying in love? Falling in love. Falling in love. Okay, so that's what you are going to do. You are going to classify that. And I am going to call the attendance meanwhile. Okay. Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Ángel Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Cecilia. Cecilia de Los Ángeles. César Guadalupe. Here, teacher. Sorry. Present. Okay. Teacher present. Edgar. Here. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Eduardo José. Present, teacher. Elvira Lorenza. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Gabriela Michelle. Present. Isabo. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Eh, Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Carla Fabiola. Catherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Reinita. Thank you. Present, Present Miss, she says on the chat. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Jancy Astria. Present teacher. Thank you very much. 
Okay, so let's go back here. Let's go back to our presentation and tell me. You call the person for no reason. What is that? Falling in love. Falling, Falling in, love. in love. You can be honest about yourself. Staying in love. Staying in love. You feel you can completely trust the other person. Staying in love. You suddenly have new interests. Falling in love. Falling in love. You talk about the other person at every opportunity. Falling, falling, in love. falling in love right falling in love so you analyze later on if you are falling in love or you are staying in love and you tell me about that tomorrow well the next topic that we have for the final week is gerunds and infinitives i need you to study this during the weekend because tomorrow we have platform day and other practice that i have ready when do you use gerunds and when do you use infinitives, okay? That is a very controversial topic because in some cases you say, for example, I liking driving, I hating, no, right? I hate working, I am not good at using, right? Or you say, I hate to work, I hate to working. Some people say, I hate to working and that is not okay, that is not possible. So you can investigate a little bit of information on how to use gerunds and how to use infinitives, okay? In which cases you use gerunds, in which ones you use infinitives. And we're going to be studying that for the last week. On the last week, we also have short presentations, remember, but I am going to tell you a little bit more about it on uh, tomorrow's class. Let me just open this one, I have something ready for the last part of the class. Chin, chin, chin. And here I go, okay? We are just going to finish with this exercise that I have here. And it says, what if I get in shape this summer? We have two options here. What if I get in shape this summer? Which is the correct option for you? you might be able to come rock climbing with me or you won't be able to come rock climbing with me. You might be if able get, to come rock If climbing. I get in shape, you might be able to come rock climbing with me. What will happen if I stop exercising? Where do you want to you want you might gain weight? You might gain weight. What if I get a better job? You will be able to buy new clothes. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? What will happen if I don't get a summer job? Okay, you will probably have to find a roommate when school starts. Okay, you may be able to find a roommate when school starts. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? You will probably have to find a roommate. Okay, vas a tener que encontrar un compañero de cuarto because you need to pay for the rent. Okay, you will need to pay for that money. And this is the exercise that we did. And the final exercise is to choose one of these questions for tomorrow, okay? I am going to uh, send you the picture. Le voy a enviar la foto. Escojan una para responderla en el audio el día de mañana, okay? So that will be our last exercise. I am going to send you the picture right now. Please analyze the questions and choose one. Okay, choose one of these ones for you to answer in your audio tomorrow. Okay? okay, what will you do if you can't sleep? If your TV breaks next week, what will you do? How will you feel if you fail your next test? If you get lots of homework, how will you feel? What will your teacher say if you are late? If you feel bored on Saturday, what will you do? What will you eat if you are hungry at midnight? If you want to relax after class, 
What will you watch on TV? Or what medicine will you take if you catch a cold next week? Okay, I will send you these ones and I need you please to complete them on an audio tomorrow. Thank you, my dear class. I am going to see you tomorrow for the platform completion and for your next class, okay? See you tomorrow. You, Have a wonderful night. Tomorrow, Have a good Have night. Everyone, everyone. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. I will send you the picture sure, right now. Teacher, teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Can you help me with something? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, in Spanish. <laughs> and everybody's like, what, what? <laughs> Tell me, tell me, Jose. Uh, bueno, de parte de la universidad necesito como tomar un examen de segundo idioma uh -huh. y me dijeron que la prueba se llama Casas. Really? De casualidad, ¿sabes? ¿Sabe como algo sobre esa prueba o me puede dar como algunos consejos o... Okay, este, good. Can you send me the de... name? Can you send me the name of the exam on WhatsApp, please? Okay. Okay, send me the name of the exam and for sure I can uh, I can investigate or I can tell you a little bit about what I know. So I need to see the name of the exam that you are required, okay? okay. Send Thanks. it to me right now and I will keep attending you on the chat, okay? Okay, Gracias. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Send me the name, please. Bye.